it looked like somebody was bent over and had their head in the window of the deer blind. It either heard me or smelt me, and he pulled his head out of the tent and stood straight up, and that that shocked me. They don't make people that that big. The way it moved, almost as if it was gliding across the beach. I've never seen anything move like that in my life. They were screaming at each other in gibberish. It sounded like a language and they were chuntering away back and forwards, back and forwards, back and forwards. I know what a bear looks like and there is no way on this planet that what I saw were bears. This is Paul McDonald from Vancouver, British Columbia, and you're listening to Sasquatch Chronicles. Well, I want to welcome everyone to the Quarantine Trivia Game 2020, and uh, we got a big audience here, and I know we have Bobo coming up pretty soon from Finding Bigfoot, and as well as his podcast, Bigfoot and Beyond, and Tony Merkel is his challenger from the confessionals, and we got a, a bunch of celebrities in the audience. Let's go down and talk to one of them. Bingo, how are you, man? Oh, man, I'm great, Wes. How about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I know you were a part of the trivia game, and uh, you were kind of king of trivia, and you're retired now. Do you have any advice for the uh, <laughs> for the guys? Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that if, uh, and this is just my guess, if uh, if the questions have to do with habitat and things like that, I think Bobo might have the edge on that one. And uh, if the questions have to do with uh, you know the, uh, who was the first one to report a Bigfoot site in California, things like that. You know, y'all are the research. I mean, y'all are the podcasters, so y'all have to research that information. So I'd go with uh, Tony if it was that type of question. But my advice would be uh, like when you ask me, uh, you ask me something. Like, where was the first reports of the chupacabra? And the first thing that popped into my mind was my answer, and it was correct. So that was my, that would be my advice to, to for them is just to, just to go with uh, whatever pops into their mind first if they if they don't know their, if they're not sure about it. Kind of go with the first first uh, first idea. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, first idea. Yeah. Whatever pop, whatever pops in the head, go with it. Well, I don't have a lot of questions about cheese, so I think Tony Merkel might be in trouble tonight. But we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. It's going to be uh, Bigfoot and general knowledge. Uh, so it's oh, not okay. just Bigfoot tonight. It's going to be general knowledge too as well. Uh, Bingo, it's great to see you, man. Uh, I see Tony oh. Merkel making his way in right now, and I'll let you take your seat. But uh, thanks for being here, man. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, anytime. It's an honor, Wes. I love your show. Man. Well, I want to welcome to the show Bobo from Bigfoot and Beyond Podcast. Bobo, thanks for uh, being here. Thanks for playing the game. Thank you for having me, Wes. Yeah, I really appreciate you being here. And I also want to welcome to the game Tony Merkel from Mama Podcast. Uh, Tony, thanks for being here, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> from the uh, Confessionals Podcast. There, are you happy? You better start recognizing, Germer. I'm never coming back here. I'm gracing you with my presence. 
<laughs> well, I appreciate you guys being here, and we're going to start off with uh, Bobo. The media craze of Bigfoot was inspired by what machine operator working in the Pacific Northwest? Jerry Crew. Wow, look at that. And now we'll go to uh, Tony. The term Sasquatch was coined in 1924 from a Sahelish Indian word, Sasquatch, which, I don't even know if I pronounced that right, by what Canadian journalist? Um, he's cheating. <laughs> I, I, I want to say Bob. Bobo. What? J.W. Burns? Yeah. We'll accept that. I guess we'll go back to uh, Tony Merkel. The Patterson Gimlin film was shot in what month of 1967? Uh, October? That is correct. October what? <laughs> <laughs> I defer to Bobo. <laughs> At 1.15 p.m. How did I get on this show with Bobo? <laughs> yeah. He's going to smoke me. Bobo, Ape Canyon was alleged to have a scene of a siege against a group of hunters by several Sasquatches. The hunter who came forth to tell the tale was... Fred Beck, and they weren't hunters, they were miners. Jeez. You're in trouble, Tony. I'm telling me. Tony, which U.S. president wrote of a Sasquatch-like tale in one of his books or memoirs? Roosevelt. The Wilderness Hunter. The Wilderness Hunter, that's right. Bobo, you don't get extra points, okay, for adding on top of my answers. <laughs> uh, Tony, who was a president during the U.S. Civil War? That would be Honest Abe Lincoln. Bobo, who became president of the United States after John F. Kennedy was assassinated in 1963? Lyndon Baines Johnson. Tony, what is the capital of California? <laughs> I'm going to go with San Francisco. That's incorrect. Bobo, what is the capital of California? Sacramento. Sacramento is correct. This is kind of rigged. This is kind of rigged. Bobo. In 1797, who became the second president of the United States? Oh, God. It wasn't Adams. He was third, right? Was it Adams? God, I can't believe I'm a bit blown this. I guess I gotta go with Adams. That is correct, John Adams. Yeah. Tony, what is the capital of New York? Albany. Yeah. Not so rigged now, you bastard. Yeah, you asked Bobo his state. I mean, ask me Pennsylvania. You got it wrong. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Bobo, how many states touch the Pacific Ocean? Five. Man, look at that. He's. He doesn't even hesitate. He's a murderer. Cold-blooded killer. <laughs> Tony, what is the Roman numeral symbol for 10? X. Bobo, what country is the Thames River in? Uh, Britain. Correct. Oh my goodness. We'll accept that. Great. Tony, name four continents. Name four continents. Uh, nor uh, North America, um, Africa, Australia, and Asia. Is Australia a continent? Yeah, that's correct. Right. Yeah, look at you. Small one. Bobo, what was the name of the ship that brought the pilgrims to America? Mayflower. Tony, who created the character Tom Sawyer? 
Uh, Mark Twain. Bobo. Tom Cruise character Maverick said in the movie Top Gun, this person is dead after hitting the brakes on his jet during a training exercise. What was the character's name who was dead? Nice man. Tony. Tom Cruise character Maverick said in the movie Top Gun, this person is dead after hitting the brakes on his jet during a training exercise. What was the character's name who was dead? I have no idea. <laughs> None. I got you down. Jester's dead. Woohoo! Jester's dead. Yeehaw! Get your butts above the hard deck and return to base immediately. Yes, sir. You guys don't remember that? Bobo. In the movie Tombstone, we see Wyatt Earp with his boot on a cowboy's throat. And he said, You tell him I'm coming. And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me. What was the character's name he was talking to? Oh, man, I, I don't know. Tony. In the movie Tombstone, we see Wyatt Earp with his boot on a cowboy's throat. And he said, you tell him I'm coming. And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me. What was the character's name he was talking to? I can't remember. I can't even picture his face. I remember that line, and I, I just can't picture the person's face. All right, Clinton. You called down the thunder. Well, now you got it. You see that? It says United States Marshal. Why? Please don't kill me, please. Take a good look at him, Mike, because that's how you're going to end up. The Cowboys are finished, you understand me? I see a red sash, I kill a man wearing it. So run, you cur. Uh, run! Tell all the other curs the lie's coming. You tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! I clan. Ah. So no points there. Bobo, true or false? Sound travels faster in air than in water. False. Tony, what is the largest known land animal? What is the largest known land animal? I want to venture and say the elephant. Correct. Bobo, what is the largest planet in our solar system? Um, uh, it's... it's... Jupiter? That's correct. Tony, how many teeth does an adult human have? Oh, God. Depends what state you're in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22. Bobo, how many teeth does an adult human have? 32. Jesus, this guy know like everything or what? Apparently. Tony, in Greek mythology, who turned all that he touched into gold? Rumpelstiltskin. Dang it. Bobo, in Greek mythology, who turned all that he touched into gold? Midas. That's correct. You ever heard of the Midas touch? Sure, that sure have. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what was the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? Tinkerbell. Bobo, which is the tallest mammal? Uh, giraffe. Tony, which crime fighting cartoon dog? has the initials S.D. on his collar. Scooby-Doo. Bobo, which Roman emperor supposedly fiddled while Rome burned? Nero. Tony, 
The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, is headquartered in which U.S. city? New York. Bobo. The Center for D Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, is headquartered in which U.S. city? Atlanta. Wow, Jesus, I can't believe you got that. Tony, who revolutionized the automotive industry in the United States? Who revolutionized the automotive industry in the United States? Uh, Ford? Correct. Bobo, what year did World War I begin? For the U.S. or the war itself? Uh, the war itself. 1915? Tony, what year did World War I begin? Um, well, I know we were in, we had the uh, Spanish flu in 1918, World War I was going on then, so let's just say 1917. It was 1914. Dang. I knew it right after I said it wrong. Bobo, what were the last words spoken in The Empire Strikes Back? Uh, can you give me a hint what character? Nope. It was the very last word spoken in the movie, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, let me think, let me think. Uh, God, I can't remember. Tony, what were the last words spoken in The Empire Strikes Back? I don't know. Luke, we're ready for takeoff. Good luck, Mando. When we find Jabba the Hutt and that bounty hunter, we'll contact you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous point on Tatooine. Princess, we'll find Han. I promise. Chewie, I'll be waiting for your signal. Take care, you two. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Bobo, Mount Everest is in which country? Nepal. Yeah, he's been there. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, a millennium is a period of how many years? A thousand. A hundred. Which one are you going with? It's a thousand. Bobo, New York City has how many boroughs? Five. Tony, the giant home furnishing retailer IKEA was founded in which country? United States. Bobo, the giant home furnishing retailer IKEA was founded in which country? Sweden. That's correct. I hate IKEA. <laughs> Tony, what is the name of the city where the cartoon family, the Simpsons, live? Springfield. Bobo, who is regarded as a man who invented the telephone? Uh, Bell. Tony, what is the name of the national anthem of the United States? Star Spangled Banner. No. Am I wrong on that? Nope, you got it. Uh, Bobo, what band features Vince Neil and Nikki Six? The crew, baby. <laughs> Tony, which U.S. state has the postal code abbreviation AR? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Which U.S. state has a postal code abbreviation AR? Oh, which U.S. state? Um, Arkansas. Bobo, what number did the Chicago Bulls retire in honor of Michael Jordan? 23. Oh, that was a layup. That was such a layup. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, how many holes are in a standard round of golf? Uh, 18. Bobo, what is the capital of the U.S. of A? Washington, D.C. 
Tony, what is the northernmost state in the United States? Maine. Bobo, what is the northernmost state in the United States? Alaska. Oh, you idiot! Did you say Alaska, Bobo? Yeah. That's correct. Uh, Tony, which president used the phrase, speak softly and carry a big stick? Which president used the phrase, speak softly and carry a big stick? Abraham Lincoln. Bobo. Which president used the phrase, speak softly and carry a big stick? Teddy R. Roosevelt. That is correct. <laughs> Tony, what is 9,763 times 12,780 divided into seven? And can you give your answer in the form of a fraction? <laughs> what it what is Bobo? <laughs> I'm just joking. That wasn't a real question. Tony, here's your real question. What sport is played on the gridiron? Uh, football. Bobo, what is the name of the toy cowboy in Toy Story? Oh. Uh, shoot. Bill. Tony, what is the name of the toy cowboy in Toy Story? I got him. I finally got him. His name is Woody. Bobo, animals that eat plants and meat are called what? Omnivorous. That is correct. Count up the score. It looks like Bobo won. He's a new reigning champion. Yeah, baby. What do I get? I'll send you out a sweatshirt or something. Something nice. Keep you warm. <laughs> I'm good. I don't, I don't need anything. I was just joking. <laughs> well, you may have to face Bingo. He's he's a uh, he he was a champ for a long time. No one could beat him. He was unbeatable. But I think you might be right up there, man. I think you I'll, you train take him. you train a little bit, and I think you could probably you could probably take him. I watch Jeopardy and kick ass on that all the time. I thought I'd make the questions easier. You know, last time I did this, everyone said the questions were too hard. And so I thought I'd make them a little easier for everyone. I want to thank uh, Bobo for coming on the show from his podcast, uh, Bigfoot and Beyond, and also Finding Bigfoot. And I want to thank Tony Merkel from the Confessionals podcast for coming on too as well. Uh, thanks so much, guys. And I'm calling out uh, Bingo to come out of retirement challenge. Oh, uh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> well, the challenge has been sent out to Bingo. I know he's uh, in the audience listening, so we'll see if we can get a word from him afterwards. What a match. What a match between those two giants. Bobo came out victorious, and a surprising end to the fight. He actually called out the champ, the retired champ, uh, we're going down now ringside with uh, Bingo uh, to get his reaction. Bingo, he saw the match. He saw how uh, Bobo destroyed Tony Merkel in that game. Uh, and, and, and then the surprising at the end where he wanted you to, to uh, challenge him. Give us your response to that, if you would. Uh, <laughs> I'm an ex-athlete. I'm an ex-football player. I'm up to any challenge anybody gives. <laughs> there we go. What did you think of the beating Merkel took? <laughs> Tony, uh, study a little bit more, man. You're supposed to be uh, interviewing uh, people and and doing your research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite the beating that he took, you know. And uh, I was surprised that Bobo called you out. I, I don't think he has seen your wins and losses. Uh, <laughs> but we'll have to do a feature one of these and bring the champ out of retirement. And Bo oh, Bobo's man. in trouble. <laughs> Tell him, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bingo. Wow, what an upset. Can't believe that. Bobo really gave it to Merkel. And then uh, even surprising developments, calling Bingo back in out of retirement for the trivia game. We're going to have to see how this one goes. 